So these sex positions will give you a six pack, believe it or not. Joining me today, Dr. Kelvin Owusu is going to be going through a couple of things you need to know when it comes to intimacy with your partner that can actually be, should I say, beneficial um, aesthetically, you know, for you. So welcome, Dr. Kelvin. Uh, good to see you. How are things going? Very well, very well over here, Jess. Thanks for having me. <laughs> it's this an exciting actually, topic, really. Indeed, this is a very, very interesting topic. I can't wait to hear exactly what you have to say. I mean, we all know that um, having sex is actually some kind of an exercise for not just men, but women as well, right? Depending on what you do, your skill, how you do it, the level of intensity, you know, and, and lately we're in a world where everybody wants to look fit, look better. So why not do that whilst you're having fun? I mean, a great reason for people to be having more sex, of course, in committed relationships or really anything that you um, decide is ideal for you. I think we're dealing with adults here. Um, so yeah, I mean, <laughs> how do we start this conversation today? You're the medical person here, so I'll just roll with you. <laughs> well, I mean, you're, you're definitely right. I mean, sex is indeed exercise. In fact, averagely, most people would burn between 100 and 200 calories during a session, like a sex session, which is about four, four calories per minute, you know. So obviously, the, the, the longer the sex goes, the more calories you are burning. So if, if all you have at your disposal is sex, hey, go for it. I mean, as often as you can, you know, as many times a day as you can, it's definitely going to be beneficial. And you know that when it comes to a six pack, um, it's, it's not so much about having the muscles per se. Some, I mean, sometimes the muscles, there's a layer of fat over the muscle, which, is, which makes it difficult for the muscles to be seen. So you, so you, 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 you might actually have the six pack, but it's, it's shrouded in fat. <laughs> you know, so any, anything to, to get rid of the fat would obviously you know, make the six pack more visible. And so having said that, it means therefore that if you, if you juxtapose um, the fact that all sex helps you burn calories then it means that regardless of the position that you assume regardless of the type of sex you have it will help you deal with with fat you know that will then you know review the 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 six pack underneath the fat so by all means have as much sex as you possibly can <laughs> of course be make sure it's in a committed relationship we don't want any drama afterwards <laughs> <laughs> I agree. I can't help but agree. Let's 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 talk. Let's jump into these sex positions then. Um, maybe we can start with our favorite missionary. Would you say? Is that good enough? There, there, there's a reason why the missionary is indeed the most popular um, sex position because it does play. Um, it, it, it does help in a lot of ways. And of course, one of the ways it helps is indeed to help shape your abs. You see, but when it comes to the missionary, it depends on it depends on how you go about it because if if you if you if you relax too much or you are, you are too much into the woman in, in literally i'm talking about literally like you are you are lying on top of the woman you are you don't engage your core as much and anybody who has been to the gym you realize that it's not just about lifting the weight it's about engaging the muscle as you you know go through the exercise routine you know so whilst you are doing a missionary you need to sort of angle yourself in a way to engage the core the abdominal muscle so that you actually feel mm. the burn whilst you are, you know, doing your, your, your penetration, your up and down, you know, it helps to engage the core. So missionary definitely, definitely is one of the, one of the, the best forms of exercise for the core. But like I said, the caveat is that you must, you, 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 you need to kind of support yourself above, yourself above the woman, you know, so that you have enough room to sort of engage the core, the abs to sort of work it out as you go through the motions. Okay, so I'm I'm trying to like picture what you're you're talking about. So when you say like support yourself, and I don't know if I missed that. When you say support yourself, like are you using your elbows to push yourself up? So it's almost like a plank. Exactly. So so you need so but you know the typical missionary for a guy is not, most most guys will not assume the plank position when they are doing a missionary, right? You know. So if your plan is to sort of kill two birds with one stone, then you have to make the missionary kind of a plank. So you are supporting yourself on your elbows and your um your your what's it called your tools, right? And then you 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 take that plank to do to do your business, handle your business. So you are literally killing two birds with one stone. So that's so it's a bit techni technical when it comes to the missionary. You know, if you just do the regular missionary, you probably just you will burn some calories, but it's not going to engage your abs or your core that much. So you have to go the extra mile and get, use the plank technique as well. So we should call this the modified missionary, then. You know, because like you're saying, a lot of guys would rather just 
relax and put their almost full body weight, especially if they're not that heavy, maybe it's the woman who's heavier, they'll probably put their whole body weight on the woman. So if you want to modify it, then you want to look at, you know, as you said, using the plank position instead of the technical missionary. Exactly. Exactly. And this, so, so now still on the missionary, if you actually slide, if you slide a little back a, 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 away from the woman's head and come a bit down, you know, angle your, your back a bit and then give yourself some kind of curve on your back and then now push from push, you know, the, in there. Again, it helps you to, to engage the core a bit more, you know, so you are, you are, you are kind of, you, 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 you sort of created an, an arc, um, you've arced your back a bit. You know, okay. so you are not you are not in the face of the woman. You've come, you you slid down a bit. You know, you and your hip is a bit lower, so you have to now push in. It helps you to engage oh, the right. core some more. So it gives you so the missionary if can I, give you like two things. <laughs> right. It's, so so it's like increased sense uh, range of motion. That's that's what the arched back does, right? Exactly. Exactly. So still, your upper body is a bit fixed, and then all the work is coming from your hips, you know. And then you engage the core as you as you as you penetrate. It helps to engage the core some more. So you, you can you can turn the missionary into into a whole workout session. Super stuff. Super stuff. All right. And 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 what other positions can we look at at this point? I mean, and, and the the other thing, the second position would then be the the any any standing position pretty much would engage the core because remember that the abdominal muscles by their nature would help you maintain an erect posture, you know. And so once you assume a standing position, you are you engage the core anyway, and you can you can enhance this by carrying your woman. Of course, your your, your woman must be must be portable for <laughs> for lack of a better word. You have you have to be able to carry the woman, and if you actually do that. Then you, you engage the core even more because now you've added weight. It's not just about the standing, you're not adding weight to it. So that engages the core further. You know, but just don't just make sure you don't get a muscle pull because that could be, be, be disastrous for both of you. <laughs> Are you talking from experience? <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, I'm a doctor, so I've seen I've seen it all. <laughs> Okay. Alrighty. So, so standing positions generally, you say, um, also engage the core because I'm guessing I'm trying to picture it here. So actually you're not just the core. If you think about it, um, your abs is no, not your abs. What are these? Your biceps and triceps as well. Right. Mm, so, so it's a really good workout. It is, it is. So the easiest muscle group to actually build during sex is the leg muscles actually. You know, because you literally generate a lot of power from the from the legs to sort of do all the all the works. So whether you are standing, whether it's missionary, whether it's doggy, the leg muscles actually get. In fact, most most people get tired in their legs, and that's pretty much why they they they, they end the round or end the session. You see, so it's actually easier to build the the the, the leg muscle or the lower limb muscles. When you want to build the abs, you need to be a bit more deliberate. You know, so you need to you need to engage the core. Um, like consciously because it won't come naturally you know because most people most men when they are in the act of sex they tend to actually relax um, the, the stomach muscle because nobody's looking at your tummy at that point in time you see so if you really want to turn this into a workout for the abs then you have to be more conscious so like i said you need to you, you need to go a step further by lifting the woman or if it's the missionary slide back a bit so, so that you have room in the abs to sort of act and, and and what's it called sort of engage the abdominal muscles some more you know so it has to be more conscious that's basically what i'm saying it, it won't come naturally right right i understand that okay all right so um i think maybe based on what you've said and you know what we've discussed so far missionary is probably winning at this point in time oh, I yes. I'm I, i'll let you vote at the end of the show you know tell us which one you think is like the champion of of champions but yeah okay cool so Standing positions obviously engage your core depending on your technique. Mm -hmm. Okay. So yeah, the next, the next, the next group of, of positions that are also beneficial are the rear entry positions. So the doggy style and the, all the various modifications of the doggy style, you know, because typically if if you are if you are doing a doggy style again, like I said earlier, you won't naturally engage your core, but if you are conscious of, of what you are trying to do, because you are kneeling the power in your limbs are a bit a bit reduced. You have more power in your limbs when you are standing or, or the contribution of, of power from the limbs is higher when you are standing. But when you are kneeling, you know, the power is reduced because now basically the power is coming from the, the thigh muscles, which are strong anyway. But I mean, for, for what we are discussing, it helps you to also engage the core, you know, so that when you when you, when you come in for the for the push or the, for the penetration, 
you you engage the core and you get some benefit out of it now on the modification when the woman actually lies down you know because you don't want to put all your weight on the woman you can also assume a kind of an inclined plank where this time you are you are not relaxing on your elbows you are you are you are leaning on your on your palms right you are not, you are right. stretched out in front of you and then you're on your knees so there's a kind of a plank with a with a core core engaged to keep you in that position and then you go through the motion of penetrating that can also engage the muscles and help you you know develop some core i mean you, the, the, sometimes you actually feel the burn you feel feel the burn in your abdomen when you assume certain positions you see so long as it's not exceptionally uncomfortable i mean you will definitely get some benefits out of it i mean so long as it's not uncomfortable you're not getting any any pain or any muscle pulls i mean that's definitely a workout right there <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. So, so far we've, we've talked about the missionary, we've talked about standing positions and, uh, you're saying rare entry positions. How about people who choose to be very, very adventurous in the bedroom? Like, so things like chandelier, <laughs> wheelbarrow, <laughs> what's to say for positions like that? Well, I mean, I, 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 I don't have a clue what a chandelier is. I have to do research on that, but I know, I know the whole <laughs> <laughs> And okay. it definitely, it definitely will, will engage the core because, I mean, you are, you are literally, you know, you are, you are supporting the, the partner. You're supporting the partner either by, by raising the, the legs up or something, you know, obviously a wheelbarrow kind of position. And so what, doing that and at the same time trying to penetrate requires a bit more concentration, a bit more focus, and obviously a, a strong enough core. You know, so by the by the nature of the wheelbarrow, especially your core is already engaged. You know, so if you're a bit more deliberate about it, you can even push it further by by getting the abdomen involved even more. You see, because if you are carrying something, if you are carrying something with your arms, with your hands in front of you. You will require um, your abdomen muscles Core to muscles. sort of maintain maintain your posture, and now on top of that posture posturing, you also have to now come in with the penetration. So obviously the muscles are fully engaged. So that um, glue bar definitely will get you a, a, an abs workout. So I mean, hey, <laughs> if you really want the the abs to work, glue bar is, is has has has. I mean, it's got it for you. <laughs> okay, so are you saying you've never heard of chandelier? Well, I mean, maybe I don't know the name. I, I, you, you know, you know, pictures, pictures speak a thousand words. Huh? What about tea bag? Okay, so now. <laughs> okay, all right. So I mean, listen, we could go on and on and on because there are several, several, several sex positions that people enjoy in their, you know, in their bedrooms. But I think this pretty much covers maybe should I say the most everyday sex positions that people um, sort of go to, right? Um, so of all the ones that you've mentioned, which one is king when it comes to ab, um, I don't know, workouts? So now the thing is, considering that not everybody goes into the sex act with abs in mind, the missionary actually gives you the, the best of both worlds because it gives you the chance to pleasure your woman and also get a whole body workout, including the abs, you know. And as a, as a doctor, it's also safe and avoids a lot of injury. So me, I'll go for the missionary, you know, because it gives you the best of everything. However, if you are adventurous, <laughs> then the wheelbarrow is definitely the best because that one literally, I mean, that's literally a whole gym setup in, 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 in what, in two minutes. So the wheelbarrow is actually... Um, gives you the most abs workout, you know. But I have to I have to defer to my doctor self and say that the wheelbarrow also has a higher risk of injury. So if you are not fit, you don't jump straight to the wheelbarrow. Please start with the missionary and then build your capacity until you are in a position to actually do the the wheelbarrow and effectively and avoid injury. <laughs> right. Thanks for that medical advice. Very, very important. Um, to people who are watching today's video and scratching your heads like, what in the world are these guys talking about? Uh, and those who are saying, wait, but there's so many more sex positions. This is what I want you guys to do. Drop your favorite, um, should I say core workout sex position in the comments below and let's continue the conversation there because right now the doc and I are pretty much done. Right, Kelvin? <laughs> <laughs> definitely, definitely. Thanks for the yeah. invite. This has been a very, very interesting and abs engaging session. <laughs> right. Definitely, definitely core engaging, ab engaging, you name it. Um, we're, we're going to have to 
well, maybe I shouldn't say we're going to have to practice because people will take that completely. <laughs> yeah, 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 let's not scratch that. You guys uh, watching this video should go out there and, you know, practice some of the stuff that we talked about, especially if the missionary is king. And if you turn the missionary into a plank position, right? You're getting the full workout there to give you those six pack abs and make you look ready for summer or winter or whatever time of year that you want to, right? Good luck with that. And, and I hope you guys have safe sex as well. Really important, right? Doc, thank you so much for your time once again. And uh, we'll catch you in another video, I'm sure. Definitely. Thanks for having me, Jess. <laughs> Alrighty. Bye. <laughs>